Happy birthday. Yes, five years at Marie Claire. Five wonderful years. Is that an eternity in the fashion world? It is. Yeah, five it seasons, right? <laughs> yes, it is an eternity. Five seasons, you've said it. It's been a wonderful time. I think in the last five years, we have really cemented Marie Claire's reputation as one of the fashion leading magazines. And personally, it was my priority when I came in as creative director to really oversee the fashion and and have it be exceed the expectations and I really think that we have I mean we have we offer we think creatively we offer women solutions for real problems I wanted to get to that just before we get into the world of high fashion and supermodels and so on because fashion is one thing clothing and apparel can sometimes be more practical more affordable uh, fashion is something that perhaps is more disposable at times than maybe the kind of thing you would have in your wardrobe. How do you balance both of those? Because unless you get people to actually buy something and use it, it's not going to be around for very long. You know, it's really, um, it's a fine line between the fantasy and the reality. In terms of the magazine, what we do is we have phenomenal editors that offer curated advice and offer really the smartest choices for our readers. What would be an example of, let's say, the kind of reader that you're trying to focus on? The Marie Claire woman is a career woman that is obsessed with her home, with her career, with her health, with her fitness, with fashion, making smart fashion investments, knowing about the world, knowing about technology, being informed. She's a smart career woman, and she wants to know all of those points in her life. All right. Now, take the five covers. How do they fit into those various, uh, that various You model? know, May is our global beauty issue. And these five women are the fresh, freshest faces in Hollywood. It's Amelia Clark from Game of Thrones is... Um, oh my God, I'm blanking out. Elle That's Fanning, right. Elle Fanning, Lupita Nyong'o, Kate it, Mara. Kate Mara. So they epitomize the fresh faces of Hollywood, and it really epitomizes also the Marie Claire woman. As far as the trends in fashion go right now, what are you seeing that is going to be on everybody? Let's say this summer. This summer is all about the athletic trend. Athletics. A athletic. And this is the summer where it's okay to wear your sneakers to work. It's wear real, sneakers to work? Does really this also mean that the, the gym attire has now moved into mainstream? It is cross-pollinating. So it's really about the Tiva sandals, it's the sneakers, it's, but it's a luxury sneaker. Luxury sneaker. What is a luxury sneaker? One that costs more than $100? Or is that That's old correct. fashioned? But no, what we've also seen is there's the designers, high-end designers, are collaborating with the Nikes of the world, with the Adidas of the world. So there's that mix of high fashion and athletic. Prints. I've noted that animal prints are something that is on everybody's uh, list of things they want to buy. What is that going on? I think animal prints is a classic. You know, the leopard print, the zebra print, it always comes back either in fall or in the summer. But also the news this summer is all about color. It's about pop art color. It's bold, bright color. The silhouette has changed. It's the crop tops, but with the longer silhouette, the skirts are longer. The shoes are flat. Um, it's exciting. Talk a little bit about the technology that goes into the fabric, because if you're talking about athletic wear, this is as much fiber that is treated, that is not necessarily woven, and this offers a new opportunity to designers. Listen, I think that technology and fashion, again, those are two uh, mergers that are dying to happen and that have already started happening with the fuel band and with, yes, the fabrics in the in the clothing. I think there will be a time when our clothes will tell us what temperature it is. And right. Well, that, in many cases, that already is that there. Is I mean, when is that? Is you think maybe you can get a cover, a, a Marie Claire cover, where they're having wearable technology? I would love. I would love a. I would love to expand on the technology in the Marie Claire cover. Supermodels. I mentioned that earlier. What characterizes a supermodel, and are they back? I didn't know they went away, but I don't know. I think Kate Upton is a supermodel. Okay. 
Um, she's on everybody's lips. She's doing a movie. She's got covers. She's just everywhere. I think that's part of the, the supermodel that is that girl that everybody knows. It's up here in high fashion, but it's also mainstream. And does supermodel mean super money? I mean, we talk of course. very, very big money. <laughs> supermodel does mean super, super, yes, super money. Absolutely. I mean, do you get the bills for some of these appearances? And you think back, well, over five years that even the cost of doing fashion has increased? It has. Yes, indeed. What does a supermodel make in your mind when you see someone come in? I mean, listen, the days have changed of those Linda Evangelista days, but there are still... Um, girls that get paid the big bucks for especially the beauty campaigns. I mean, a lot has been, yes, there's still actresses, but there are some that are really doing a lot.